Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about condition column in Power BI using Power Query Editor. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Let's have a look at this example. We have this employee data with the positions and their status active or inactive. In the database, we have data 0 as inactive and 1 as an active. To present this data by using 0 and 1, it doesn't look professional and it is not easily understandable to the end user. For that, we need to do something like a conditional column so that user can easily capture the information as active and inactive. For that, you need to go to home and then transform data. This is an employee data and I have the status column as 0, 01 as 0, 01 and then I need to add add columns conditional column. It will open up a dialog box add a condition column that is computed from the other column or values. So this is a column custom column. If the column name it is status it is equal to it has an equal does not equal, is greater, is greater than or equal, is less or is less than or equal. In this case, we want to use equal. Here you have an option to use enter value or a select and column. Here we know the exact value. So let's put at zero. And then the output is want to return a column or a value. Here I want to return a value as inactive. Add a class if you want to add. Again, the status is equal to 1, it is active. If the database has other value other than 0 and 1, you can return as any. Click OK. It will add a new column, a custom column, active and inactive. And then let's go to the dashboard. We have this matrix table and then we can add this conditional column instead of the status and also in the slicer. Now this looks more professional that user can easily understand these are the active employees and these are the inactive employees and even they can filter using the slicer the active and inactive employees. Not only that Let's have a look at the another example. Go again to transform data. This is an employee data. You want to add one more column for conditional column. Just is in case we have used the static value, now we'll use the column value. Further, I would just want to compare the level and then the status. Custom column 2. If the level is equal to the column name that is the status it should be a numeric value and then if the output is okay then I want to select a column it is a custom column or else it will return any click OK if you look at this one the level is 111 and the status is also 111 so it returns this column it is active. The rest of the columns are not matching each and every row, so it returns in A. So this is a quick short video about the conditional columns in Power BI. Not only that, you can add as much as conditions you can. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon. Share it to your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.